this call. There you go. Hi, everyone. I see lots and lots of familiar faces. Dewey, Dave, Eddie. Welcome for all of uh, for the rest who are uh, new here. I'm not sure if uh, Michael, I, I, don't, I don't remember seeing you before. So you must be uh, someone new. Feel free to unmute yourself and say hi to everyone. Would love to see your face. Eddie, I think we're seeing your face for the first time. So very good to see you here. We're going to have more and more people join. While I wanted to introduce a newer version of Punk Hill, I don't know, like for me, if some of you have previously joined previous sessions, so uh, different Punk Hill, right? So I don't know if you can see some resemblance, but uh, we have Sapan here, who is actually Punk Hill's brother. Yes. Hi, everyone. How are you? <laughs> So uh, Sapan is going to do, by the way, for any of you who were submitting support tickets or like, you know, uh, communicating in our group, sometimes Sapan is the one who is actually taking those uh, questions and helping everyone. So Sapan, I wanted to do a quick intro for you and welcome. And we're excited to do this quick uh, walkthrough. Um, do we add it for all of you who have been doing this for a while? If you have any questions, feel free to drop them here. Or, you know, our regular thing, you can unmute yourself and ask your question live as well. Sapan, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Natalie. Uh, thanks for that introduction. <laughs> okay, so everyone, uh, uh, I look after support of uh, outranking.io and I've been uh, quite busy with a lot of inquiries, uh, you know, lately regarding different, different, uh, you know, questions related to how to use the system and how to do that particular thing related to keywords or maybe AI writing and stuff like that. So uh, always shoot your mail uh, on support at the outranking.io and I'll be more than happy to help you out with any sort of problems you have. Uh, so feel free to do that. And uh, okay, so... Uh, uh, I think there are a few people who have joined in. Uh, let's let's wait for like uh, two more minutes. And uh, meanwhile, uh, let me just start with the new document and I'll take you through the entire walkthrough in a very brief way, but we will make sure that we cover most of the important things. And uh, you, know, uh, you uh, get an overview of how exactly to use it. And uh, in case if you have any questions, we will be ready to take that as well uh, in last 10 minutes. I'm adding a couple more people there while I think, Sapan, you can go ahead and start. Perfect, perfect. Let's, let, let me just share the screen and I'll start straight away. Okay, perfect. So, uh, okay. So uh, I've been, uh, you know, I've been taking a demo lately and uh, that is one of the keyword that people have been looking for is arthritis. So, uh, okay, so let's, let's start from the scratch and I'll show you how things can be done in an easier way and maybe in the simplest way possible. So, uh, okay, new document. Let's say treatment. I hope everyone knows what is arthritis, right? Like it's, it's quite common here. create new SEO document. So once we are through with the keyword oh, and when we are into it, it will take around uh, 10 to 20 seconds to load the sort data. It will collect and scrap all the data from, from the 20 top pages of Google and it will show up right over here. Really quick, Sapan, why do you think it's taking so long? I want people to understand that it's not just our system that is loading so, so Right, <laughs> right, right. So scrapping the data from all the 20 pages will take a little bit of time because it does a lot of analysis and you know stuff like that to get all the data right up to your screen. So uh, when we talk about that, I mean, you get to see that you know on an average, people writing on arthritis is uh, uh, writing 2,452 words while maximum is 8,000 plus. So you need to be anywhere in between that when you, uh, you know, when you are writing an article or a piece of article on arthritis. Uh, similarly, when it goes for sentences, it's on an average 130 sections. Sections is basically, uh, you know, uh, your, uh, your 
place where you will be having the entire outline for your article. So uh, you need anywhere around average 19 sections, exact searches, links, images. Uh, you will get to see everything that you need to put in, in your article, uh, you know, from the data that is very well presented in uh, Google pages already. So let's start quickly. Uh, first of all, uh, you know, before we start, let's go to the header header bar here, header bar. Uh, you can expand the screen right away from here. Uh, you can go to home. You can have, you can save the file from here. You can create a new file and there is a history which I'll be coming to that point later on once we are through with the, a little bit of article. Uh, there is undo redo. There are controls wherein you can export the doc document file. And there is import as well. You just need to enter the URL from where you want to, uh, you know, uh, gather the data, import the data, and the data will be right up here in the editor. Uh, there is an image as well, wherein you can put up images in your editor, and there is a scrap board as well, uh, wherein you can scrap your rough, uh, you know, rough writings which you want to include or not. You can decide that later on. So okay, let's start with the meta title. Uh, first of all, uh, let's go to instruction section. First of all, you will see there will be a session section wherein you need to create step one to 12 and it will help you out to do everything in a simplest way possible. So first of all, step one, create a meta title. It will give you all the instructions that you require, create a meta title with at least 60 characters. That is what is uh, you know required on an optimum level. It depends. I mean, even if you are a little bit more or less, that's fine but 60 is something which is on optimum level. Okay, so you need to put in uh, two characters at least, that is treatment and arthritis. Now you can click on see title ideas and you can get a little bit more deeper. You will, uh, you'll get to see meta titles from SERP. Let's say for example, uh, arthritis causes types and treatments. You can rewrite it. So it becomes your own sort of uh, sentence for meta title and just click on the editor and it will be pasted in your editor where the meta title is. So here it is arthritis, arthritis what it is, types, arthritis and treatment for the arthritis. So, uh, okay, so this is how you can put up your uh, meta title. Now let's look into highly frequency words, high frequency words. So basically there are two words which are very much important here. One is arthritis and the other one is treatment. So we are almost, let me, let me, yes. So SEO score is 25 now. I've covered both the important keywords here. And if you look at my title now, the right bar here, that is the, the side panel that you see here in the right is the magic panel, basically. You will get to see everything here and you will come to know where you stand in your article. So right now, as we see title, it's great. So uh, we don't have to worry about title anymore. Let's move further. Let's move on to optimize meta title, which we have already done because it's already great. You will get to see the green tick mark here. The trick mark says that you are done and fine with this. Now just move on further. So we are on to step three now, create a meta description. So uh, for that, again, there are two uh, characters that is required arthritis and treatment. Let's see more description ideas. Okay. So once we are through uh, serve meta descriptions, you will get to see various uh, you know, inputs here when it comes to description. So let's say for example, arthritis causes pain, inflammation, learn about the causes, symptoms and treatment of different types of arthritis. So this sounds something familiar which we can put in and which will cover almost all the keywords that you want to put in your meta description. So let's regenerate it, let's rewrite it so you get the better uh, sentence and it's not just from the SERP. Arthritis causes pain and inflammation, learn more about it. Let's, let's take this here in the description section. Okay, so here we are. Let me, let me get back and let me update my SEO score. Okay, so it's 20, I'll move a little bit up. Uh, let me see what all words we have covered, the high frequency word, keywords. We are covering just three right now. So we need to cover a few more words as well. So as I see, there are a few words which we can actually cover here in our description. One is joint, while the other is rheumatoid, 
which is one of the arthritis, uh, one of the type of arthritis. And uh, what else we can cover? We can cover spinal arthritis as well. So let's take these three words first and let's see where we stand. So uh, arthritis causes pain and inflammation. to the joints and let's just put this particular type of arthritis here that causes pain and inflammation to the joints learn, learn more learn about the causes symptoms and treatment of different types of arthritis perfect uh, let's uh, update our score and yes we are uh, done with more clicks to cover in the keyword section. So let's, uh, okay, so meta description, you are good to go. It's good enough. So you know now that your meta description is good enough and you can move further. You can obviously make it better and better. Uh, for that, you need to do a little bit of research and uh, you, know, uh, you need to put a little bit of more keywords into it, which you can definitely do it from uh, the meta description section and high frequency keywords. So let's move further with the H1 tag heading. So uh, what sort of heading we can put in? Let's get some ideas here. Understanding arthritis causes symptoms, diagnosis and the treatment. So this, this is perfect for us. Let's just put it here. Let's see how many keywords we are covering now. Let me update the score. So yes, uh, bingo, we have covered uh, two of them, arthritis and treatment while uh, your heading is now good enough. So you are good to go again. You need to move further. So the, the magic panel, the magic panel that, as I said, the side panel, we call it magic panel because it will help you out with every section of your uh, you know, uh, article. So keep looking at that and make sure that you have at least good enough and great for every uh, you know, a section that is mentioned here. So uh, moving further, sections. Now sections is something uh, which most of uh, you also call it as uh, you know uh, outlines. So you can create your own outlines here and outranking will help you out to do that. So first of all, how you can add up sections. This is most important part where you want to uh, you know, rank better in Google. So sections from SERP, you'll get to see what all sections uh, SERP possibly is giving you out here. Let's see uh, what is favorable to us. Uh, there is always a drag and drop available here. So you can add up and you can remove the ones you don't want it. Let's say uh, arthritis symptoms, H2 tag. Let's, let's put arthritis symptoms, arthritis facts. What is arthritis? Okay, so here are the types of arthritis and doctor treat arthritis. Okay, this is something new. What are the risk factors of arthritis? So let's put this here as well because that is one of the important topics to be covered. Are, this, are there foods to avoid when you have arthritis? Okay, so we have enough of topics right now just to show you how to use it further. Add outline to editor. So I'll be adding up all this uh, sections in my uh, piece of article that I'm creating right now for arthritis. So first of all, arthritis facts. I'll be I'll be just uh, uh, showing you something wherein you know I can be a little bit quick, and which can give us some results instantly. So let's say. Hey, Sapan, are you there? I think I, we have your screen frozen or something. For everyone who is just joining, uh, we're talking about arthritis treatment. 
my goodness, hard to pronounce. Um, Satan is one of our support uh, people who is always helping and answering all the chats, um, both in the uh, group and support tickets. So hopefully his uh, connection is going to restore and he's going to rejoin. So right now, basically the steps that he outlined, number one, we're putting in the, uh, the keyword, the term, and then we're creating the new document. Next step is we are creating the title, uh, the meta title, meta description, and then now we're working on the article outline. So um, you've seen, so one, one thing that I would like to uh, talk about right now. So you've seen how um, he is basically using the, uh, the structure that is suggested by the outranking. So this is for some of you who are thinking like, why are those uh, outlines look exactly like there was a couple one that are used by other websites. Those are exactly the ones that are scraped from SERP. So what you see there is sometimes you want to rewrite them. So um, I was talking about like heading or meta description. You may not want to use that exactly the, uh, like meta description as it is there, just because it's exactly how it's scraped from SERP. So you may want to use a rewrite button. So upon really quick while I'm talking about this, can you yes. go back to meta description and show the rewrite button? Surely, surely. So this is how you can rewrite basically. Uh, uh, if you want to, let's say, rewrite for 120 characters. Oh, it's, it's less than that. Yep. Or if you go to the right, if you go to the magic panel and then click on meta description, there is a button there. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Just next just, to each yeah. of those um, descriptions, there's a rewrite yeah. button. So you can use it right there on the, on the, yeah. on the right. Anyway, so I'm all, yep, go ahead, continue. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. So that's, that's what I did uh, uh, for the very first time when I was entering the meta description. I rewrited it first and then I put it up uh, in the meta description panel. A uh, reason being, uh, it's uh, not good to just put in what it is already there in the page which has already ranked better because at the end of the day, it's just copy paste and it will not help you to rank better. So what you need to do is you need to rewrite it in your own way wherein you know it can be again, something which will give you, uh, you know, a better chance to outrank others. So that's, that's how you need to use rewrite and make it uh, look a little bit more of an organic and a natural content rather than putting the same thing again and again. I hope uh, Natalie that answers the questions, right? Yep, go ahead. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, okay, so we were at arthritis facts and here is one of the para and I want to continue more on it. I want to write more on it. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll expand. Okay, so please say less than 20, 120 characters, okay. Let me let me uh, remove this much of. Okay. So. Uh, Natalie, uh, can you just help me out with this? It's less than 120 characters, right? Yeah, so you're trying to rewrite it, right? Hi, Paul. Okay, let me make it a lot more easier. Let's say, for example, what is arthritis and you want a system to command and say that what it is. So uh, there is a button for that, it's called command. Just give a command and it will write for you. Arth yep, here it comes. So arthritis is a painful chronic disease that affects the joints and causes inflammation. It can be inflammatory disease of the connective tissue and stuff like that. So you basically get to, uh, you know, uh, get to the details right away. And uh, this is all based on GPT-3 and a naturally generated language. So this is not right away from SERP, it actually helps you out with the naturally generated language and uh, you know rank better with a good optimization of SEO. So let's remove this. This is uh, 
of no use here and uh, okay so here we go further so i i i have got this para and i want to write more on it so here comes the main part of uh, ai writing wherein you can use all the gpt3 equipped tools here when in, let's say for example you want to say write for me so what it will do is it will continue from where you have left and it will take further the conversation i mean uh, the piece of article and it will give you more info on it so uh, you can also set what sort of uh, uh, you know quantity of information you require uh, for example if you keep it low and then you put uh, and then you click on write for me it will generate uh, you know a para but it will be in a shorter form if you want to put it medium 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 will be the default one well if you want to write more on it uh, you can always select high so accordingly you can uh, you know uh, gather the data the way you want as quick as possible so i i have got two major types of arthritis here okay so let's let's move further this is one way of uh, you know uh, gathering the data for your article now uh, okay so let's let's move further so uh, okay uh, one more thing which is very important here is uh, when we talk about featured snippet instructions so let's say for example uh, uh, okay uh, arthritis symptoms and i want a step by step instructions on arthritis symptoms there is a featured snippet instruction just click on write and it will give you a lot of uh, instructions you know it will be in the form of steps wherein you know you know exactly that you want this sort of content for your article so step 1 2 3 it will be in the form of pointers or it will be in the form of instructions so arthritis symptom pain soreness in the joints fatigue and lack of energy mood changes such as depression anxiety uh, so you know you it becomes very easy for you to get the content really fast now this are the duplicate ones so i'm just removing them and you know there are four four symptoms already in front of you uh, which was generated by feature snippet instructions so this is how you can create more of uh, you know instructions by using feature snippet uh, let's say for example what is arthritis uh, there is one more important thing which i would like to show you here let's say if you want a definition for a particular thing let's say what is arthritis there is a specifically precise tool for that as well which says which, uh, feature snippet definition it will help you out with the, any sort of definition that you require so here it is arthritis is a medical condition that causes pain swelling stiffness and loss of movement in the joints uh, it, it's it's exactly in the form of definition so uh, if you want to put in definitions in your article this is the best way to do it so i am just showing you that how all uh, you know all sort of ai tools that you can use to uh, write up more on your content here so uh, okay uh, let me move further what are the risk factors for arthritis and i want to write uh, around let's say 120 characters on this let me just redo it again 120 characters what are the some of the risk factors for arthritis okay got it so okay let me let me write few words on it uh, let's say for example uh, what are the risk factors one of the risk factor is anxiety soreness and lack of energy
here it is it will write 120 characters for you and it will be naturally generated so uh, you know one of the risk factors of blockchain is that many people report anxiety let's move further uh, let's say you want to continue writing more here so uh, in that case expand so it will expand further and it will give you more detail all right the arthritis and affects how patients interrupt their symptoms treatments for arthritis vary depending on condition but these lipids are one of the more common treatments so that's that's how you can generate content in different different ways and you know uh, help out with uh, saving a lot of time so uh, when you when you move into the ai right section you will get to see various other ai tools like uh, uh, writing meta description for you it will write a meta description uh, answer a question so let's say uh, okay this is one of the question and you want an answer for that so here is the question and here is the answer for it you click on write and you get the answer risk factor age is a risk factor for arthritis smoking increases the risk of uh, osteoarthritis uh, by over 1.5 times you get the detail right over here and uh, you know 80 percent of the times you will get the relevant data but you might find uh, you know 15 to 20 percent of the times when you get uh, irrelevant data as well uh, wherein you just need to, uh, you know, edit it and remove it and use whatever uh, suits you the best. So, as I said, there are various other uh, answer the question, instructions, uh, writing meta description for you. And for everything else, there is always, uh, you know, 120 characters writing, rewrite, 500 rewrite characters, using NLG again, uh, expanding what you've already written, and uh, you know, shorten what you've already done. And there is always command wherein you can directly with a com command on uh, how, how uh, what needs to be done. So let's say, for example, I'm writing, please uh, help me with medicine of medicine of arthritis. All right, so, uh, okay, so this is one sort of a command, right? Uh, please help me, uh, please help me find. So that, that would be more relevant. Please help me find medicine for arthritis. Okay, so this is the sort of command that you are giving, right? So just put on command. Let's see what we get. Okay. Uh, how can I find sin for arthritis? Medicine for arthritis can be found at your local pharmacy. So, uh, you know, this is a sort of command that you want to give. So any sort of command, let's, uh, I mean, you know, it can be anything like it's, it's really uh, on a macro level when I talk about uh, using expand feature specifically, uh, uh, sorry, uh, command feature specifically wherein, you know, you can command any sort of requirement that you have and uh, the out ranking AI tool will help you out to get the right information here. So, okay, so let's move further and we are almost done with sections. We have sections ready. We need to put in content in it. And I showed you how you can put up content by, uh, you know, using different sort of AI tools. So moving further, let's go to questions. We are done with sections now and it's good enough. Let's go to questions. It's already great because the sections that we have covered has good questions and we have almost covered the good questions here. Also, in case if you want to put more questions, let's, let's, uh, uh, let me just show you how to do that. So questions from content. What is the best treatment for arthritis in lower back? So let me just rewrite this particular question. 
Okay. Uh, what is the best treatment for arthritis? Uh, all these questions are already covered here. Which structure is used in new treatment of uh, this sort of arthritis? Okay. All right. Uh, so let me do one thing. Uh, let me take this particular in the editor. So here is the question. And uh, you can use the AI tools to write for uh, this particular question. So uh, as you can see, you have already, we have already mentioned a lot of questions here in the sections itself, which is helping us out with the questions department because it is already great. So in case, uh, you know, if you are writing on a particular topic and you see that there are less of questions and more of headings, which just give the details and not answering any of the questions, you can always add up more questions by going uh, into the question section. Also, there is people also ask wherein what sort of questions people ask on Google. Uh, so you can get idea of what sort of questions that you want to put in here. So that when uh, people start asking about those questions, uh, your article, your piece of article is always there wherein they can uh, you know, click and look into it. So this is the question section. Now let's let's move further. Uh, let's go back to instruction. And we have got a lot of green ticks here. So we are going great here. Uh, okay, so everybody, yes. Uh, URL, you need to create your URL, which will help you out with uh, optimization of SEO. Uh, you need to put arthritis and treatment in your URL. So just simply create an URL, which uh, can be pasted here, doc URL. Related keywords, this is one of the important things which is required when it comes to uh, you know ranking in SEO. Uh, ranking in Google pages with good, uh, you know, optimization of SEO. So, uh, okay. So here are the related keywords that you see. And uh, with every related keyword, you get to see a C sign and a tick mark sign. So uh, C basically, uh, you know, defines that it is in the content while the treatment for arthritis, which has a tick mark uh, defines that it's in your tags in your H1 tag, or maybe in your issue tags, but it is in your tag. It is used in your tag while C defines that it is used in your content. So you click on it and you will get to see where it is used in your article. You should know exactly that what sort of keywords you want to use and how many times you want to use it. So this will help you out. And even you will, uh, you will be getting few more suggestions here that if you want to put in to make it, uh, you know, better and better with every uh, passing content that you write in. Very good. Do we have anything else left? Yes. So I'll, I'll just wrap up like uh, real quick now. There are just two things left. So there is research wherein, you know, you can get all the uh, domains list here with the score, with the domain authority, uh, backlinks, words, and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, in case of, uh, you know, search directories and stuff like that, Wikipedia or anything, and you don't want uh, those particular URL, uh, you know, content to be, uh, you know, register here somehow, then you can just hide it. And it will, uh, you know, edit all those uh, uh, URL and, uh, you know, and the content will be removed from uh, SERP analysis. So this will give you on what your, uh, you know, competitors are doing and how much, what is their score and how better you can score, uh, you know, when it compared uh, when we compare it with the other uh, competitors. Uh, the last one is the topic coverage. Uh, the density helper will show you that, uh, you know, below 3% is always good, but uh, anything about 3% is not that great. So uh, you need to understand what all topics you have covered and what all you can cover more with this particular topic coverage section. There are a cluster of keywords as well. It will take few seconds to generate the clusters. Yes, so here it is. These are two word clusters. Uh, you can have one word clusters as well, three word clusters as well. And accordingly, you can use it uh, in your content. 
it will also show you the current density of every keyword that you have used here so that's that's uh, about it uh, basically going through a very uh, brief sort of demo wherein you know a walk through wherein you get to know uh, what all sort of features our ranking provide and uh, how depth uh, they have in it Awesome. We do have a couple of questions here. Dewey, number one, thank you so much for jumping in and answering the question earlier. Um, Dewey is also asking, I love Outranking, and uh, basically he's asking, like, Outrank is doing a great, great job uh, producing the content that ranks, but what about converting? Um, you know, ha having that content to convert and asking whether we can add IDA or Pastor templates into the instructions. Uh, I am not sure about that. Sapan, have you heard of anything about this? No, not really. Uh, we will have to look into it and we can tag you about it and, you yep. know, uh, in the community. Sounds you understand good. what I'm talking about? Yep, you know I mean? totally get it. Because it's like, for instance, what you have here is going to be a great framework for writing an article about arthritis that may rank well on Google. But uh, I assume any one of us doing a web page is going to try and sell something. And this does nothing, this format does nothing to convert that person. There's no something to grab their attention at the beginning. Uh, the article, we're not, it needs to be written in a way that's going to create more desire and then finish with a call to action. And I think, because uh, I know from another AI program, you can create AI DAs. So I don't think it'd be that hard to add into this and you'd have right. something that no one else is doing and it would make it so much better because you're not just creating an article to rank, you're creating an article to convert, which is what I think everyone's intention is, what their goal is. Sounds good. Let us look into this and then I'm going to tag you there. Paul is asking about additional languages, Safan, anything about that? Yes, there are uh, 12 languages available wherein you can use it, uh, you know, to write the better content. How about uh, additional um, ones? He's asking specifically for Swedish. Swedish. Uh, we do have Swedish, I think. Uh, let me let me just get back to you on this. Uh, we do have Swedish. Sounds good. Next up is, uh, so we're going to get back to you on this. Paul is asking about the uh, add-on going up um, from 17 to 39 bucks. We have something special planned for next. Uh, yes. Next week is going to be a big release, okay? So be sure to stick in and stick around and just uh, check out your emails because next week we're going to do a huge announcement about the, what's coming um, and the new uh, outrank version. So um, you'll, you'll know more then. Yeah, I, I just want to add one thing here that uh, I'm damn sure with the new release, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be game changing when it comes to content writing and doing SEO. It's, it's like something never seen before. So uh, hold your breath on it. I mean, you know, everyone's going to be a, in real surprise for that. Do you, what is an add-on? Uh, it's an additional uh, characters, basically, for uh, yes. extra, you, know, you get extra purchase for additional credits. All righty. Uh, looks like this is about it. Um, this Thursday, we're going to have another session as well, where we're going to dive a little bit deeper into what's coming for uh, next week's session uh, and uh, our next version for Outranking. Other than that, uh, any way to add relevant free uh, stock images to content, Sapan? Yes, so uh, that can be added up right from the, uh, you know, uh, header. Uh, wherein you know there is an option for image, you just need to uh, you know attach that image, and you can add that image in your article editor. Sounds good. So yes, you can do that. Um, this has been a great session. Forty minutes. Uh, we were hoping to keep it uh, at around thirty minutes. Thank you everyone for joining us. This Thursday is going to be another so session. We're going to email you invitation as well, and we'll see you this Thursday. Otherwise, stick around, and then next Thursday be here for sure. You don't want to miss it. Thanks everyone. Bye. Thank you, everyone.